You really can't judge a book by its cover. I, I get that reaction a lot with customers that come in and the first thing they do is they look at the menu and they're like, huh, you know, interesting. And then after they're done eating, they're like, I didn't expect that. They're like, this is awesome. Gary Strauss, which is big, and myself, little. Growing up, we both went to Ogden Elementary School and he literally lived across the street from me and uh, I would sit on his handlebars and we would go to school. And then we were like, big and littles. It was just like big and littles. Like big and littles, you know? When somebody comes and asks what they should order, it's a question that I love and I hate. I've got so many options. Fried shrimp, grilled tuna, burger, meat, pork. You tell me and then I can help you. I want them to say they had some of the most amazing food they've ever had. Street food. You know, this isn't your fine dining, fancy gastronomic whatever, you know, whatever that is. We don't like to be flashy, you know, we're, we're just, we just want to cook good food. So Angela, you say that from top to bottom, Big and Littles has it all. Tell us why you chose it. I've been going to Big and Little since their original location, which used to be just a countertop with little six little stools, and the food there is out of this world. It is what they deem gourmet fast food, but just kicked up in a notch in a way that you've never had it before. Big and Little, there's a chef, Big and Little, um, behind the counter just working their butts off, and they're taking pride in everything that they're putting out. The ingredients that they use are unusual to what you'd find on burgers, tacos, uh, french fries. So they add foie gras, um, sriracha sauce, different sauces, different ingredients that you're just typically not used to. Vicki, what did you think? I thought it was very good. You know, and I got the, the soft shell crab po' boy. What and did you think of it? Very good. I thought it was excellent. It's a big sandwich. It's a huge sandwich and a lot of bread and a lot of food. Mm -hmm. and, um, and the shrimp. Oh boy too, mm -hmm. and it w was very good. And I think the whole experience just really works for them. I mean, they're not trying to be the glitz, the glam. It's mm -hmm. not like you're driving by and it has curb appeal. I mean, I think that's their whole thing. Right. Sit down, you know, picnic, picnic style. style. Tables, right. All We're not trying to impress anybody. It's all self-serve, which right. is great because plastic you know, forks. Exactly. And I love the story between behind Big and Little. Yeah, and it has whole. been around that long, but Big and Little's does have a cult following. Mm -hmm. It really, you can yeah. just see like I have to go there. So John, um, you know, it's interesting in the sense that Angela recommended this, just because when I think of Big and Littles, there seems to be this sort of bromance happening <laughs> with food there, right? It's sort of this, like, you know. It's this definitely a place where guys go to yeah. eat guy food, <laughs> right, you, know? you know? That's, that's true. I, I, I found it sort of tough to figure out how to get everything into my mouth, <laughs> which is not a, not a problem that I usually have. Um, yeah, yeah, I just looking around at what people had, everything was just like massive. You know, the but fish and chips like was like a... So yeah, I, I don't know. It, it didn't. It didn't do it for me necessarily. I, I went with with a buddy of mine, and we, we shared a bunch of stuff. I, I had an oyster po' boy, mm -hmm. and it was not readily apparent what the fried thing in the po' boy was. Okay. It could have been anything, you know. And I love oysters because they're, they're briny, and you've got the texture going on. You know, you're looking for kind of assertive ocean flavors mm -hmm. in, in this po' boy, and it just, you know, it, it wasn't there. Um, we had. Uh, two kinds of fish tacos. We had an ahi fish taco, mm -hmm. and we had the sort of, I guess, the house fish taco, the big and little fish taco. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the, 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 they were both tasty. They had sort of punchy flavors, but the ahi I found a little mushy. You know, I think, I think they're more about See, kind of... that's my absolute favorite, the, the ahi, ahi taco. Ahi tuna taco. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's no fillers, there's no lettuce or tomato. They just take these huge, red, beautiful cubes of tuna and they just marinate in that like light miso glaze, just top it with black sesame. It's very simple. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fish for what you're getting, and it's just, it's, it's buttery, it's melt in your mouth. I, I think it's delicious. And it's not just a seafood lover's dream come true, like me, like, you know, when I go with coworkers who don't eat seafood, there's burgers, there's um, vegetarian options, so there's something for everyone there. Have you ever had the foie gras? I have. The foie gras in itself is amazing, but mm -hmm. the, the juices that go on top, and it soaks on the bottom of the fries. It is decadent, um, I mean, calorie-laden, but so <laughs> worth it. So Vicki, who would you bring here next time, Mim? 
go to Big and Little's. Pretty much anyone. I think for a lunch, it's not something mm -hmm. I would go, okay, let's go there for a date night. It's mm -hmm. in a nice intimate setting yeah. that you feel like you can just hang out. Yeah. You know, like, and the whole story. Was there a line when you got in? No, we went right before noon. Okay. And then when we got there, boy, we got there right in time because then there's a line. And mm -hmm. it doesn't move very fast, mm -hmm. but you're, it's made to order and you're getting fresh food. Yeah, you I mean, have a theory about why the line doesn't move fast, right? They take pride in explaining every single menu item. You know, they say, what do you feel like? And you, you have a conversation with them in line. So, you know, they're, they're blinders on with, you know, all the people <laughs> waiting behind them. You're the most important person when exactly. you're at the Exactly, and they take it's, time. Yeah. John, who goes to this restaurant? Uh, who goes? It, 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 it was a like? smattering of people. You know, it was a lot of, a lot of, you know, guys and girlfriends of the guys. And it seemed like a, a, a you know, kind of cross section of, of north side Chicago. Mm -hmm. I assume there were some tourists there. So Angela, uh, the little is Tony, mm -hmm. and then the big is Gary. Mm -hmm. um, but you had mentioned to me that the entire team seems to follow suit with them. Yeah, it's like a little army. They're just, it's the, the big and little army. Their personalities are all similar. They all just have, they feed off of each other, and um, they just take pride in everything that they put out. You hear lots of laughing, um, people having good food, huge space. I mean, they tripled. Are people taking photos space. of their food there? They are. Oh, They're posting it my on God. Facebook. And I hate that. Tweeting it. <laughs> I hate <laughs> the, the, the photos of the food. You know when you see a gorgeous soft thing. shell crab oh, that's in their perfect nice. form and yeah. it's just beautifully breaded on top of that bread? I mean, you got to take a picture of that and tweet it to all <laughs> your friends. If you don't photograph it or tweet it, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Exactly. <laughs> didn't happen. <laughs> well, the, the food <laughs> baby that I had to work against exactly. on the walk home, that, that was enough confirmation that it happened for me. Right, Angela, you recommended Big and Little. Sum it up for us. If you're looking for food that you're familiar with, but kicked up and twisted in a way that you've never had before, uh, try Big and Little's. Try the Ahi Pokey Fish Taco. All right. Vicki? It was delicious, and I would definitely go back again and just take people just for the experience. All right, and Judd? I would say that if you're looking for lunch and you have to have a fish taco and a burger and a po' boy at the <laughs> same time, Big and Little's is your place. If you're looking for each of those individual dishes on their own, I think there are better options out there. All right, well, you can try the tacos, burgers, and much more at Big and Little's, 860 North Orleans, 312-943-0000. They're open for lunch and dinner Monday through Saturday. Reservations are not accepted, and the average tap per person is $12.